Thanks to fantastic movies, we all know what to expect after a real full-fledged AI is created. It won't take him long to realize that robots are superior in all respects to useless bags of meat called people. And from that moment on, our days will be numbered. Jokes are jokes, but science fiction has warned us more than once about the dangers associated with human arrogance. But it is obvious that we do not pay attention to these warnings. That's why we continue to develop robotics, create new machines, and teach them an increasingly dangerous set of skills and capabilities. Meet the Motorman, May 24, an industrial robotic arm developed by Yaskawa Electric Corporation. Maybe this robot is represented in the form of just one hand, but the absence of other body parts does not affect its masterful handling of the katana in any way. Yaskawa created Mate 24 for advertising purposes, to show that its robots can be so accurate that they can be controlled even with centuries. Old samurai weapons. To implement this idea, Yaskawa turned to Aizayo Machi, a five-time champion in the art of chopping various objects with a sword. Machi was dressed in a motion capture suit and recorded all his movements during the strikes, after which they fed this information to Mat-24. During the last stage of the project, Yaskawa employees had to wear helmets and protective body armor so that the robot would not accidentally chop them into cabbage. He handled cold steel so skillfully. After learning everything that could be taught to her, the robotic arm met with Mashi in an impromptu duel to cut various objects. Me, 24 did not have any difficulties in cutting fruit and tatami. He even expertly split a horizontally lined pot of peas. The machine was in no way inferior to Machi when it came time to grind the tatami. The robot even had an advantage in this regard. It did not need to rest. If the robots of the future need an executioner, then they already have an ideal candidate. If it's any consolation, it took the Yaskoa team several months to teach me 24 all of the above first. Class skills. The trouble is that if robots learn something, they will never forget it. You are probably already familiar with the Cheetah robot developed by Boston Dynamics. Now Google's daughter, the four-legged iron monster, is able to run at a speed of 45 kilometers per hour. Using laser-based sensor technologies, the robot is able to see and calculate the most optimal way to overcome an obstacle. After the jump, the car lands on its mechanical paws and continues to run as if nothing had happened. It's worth noting that this is quite an amazing ability for a robot that weighs 32 kilograms. Now you will not be able to escape from this four-legged horror by simply placing obstacles in its path. Cheetah is able to jump over objects up to 46 centimeters high with the light grace of a cat. Next, Google scientists are going to test Cheetah outdoors to see how the robot behaves on different surfaces. That's right, to teach him to chase you over rocks as well. What will happen if we gather a team of biologists, experts in biorobotonics and masters in mechanical engineering? They will create a robot water meter. He is able to perfectly repeat the behavior of live water meters and jump on the water. Some even manage to compare it with the spider robots from the movie Dissenting Opinion. It all started with the fact that a team from Seal State University and one participant from Harvard decided to monitor with the help of high-speed cameras how these tiny insects can jump so briskly on the water surface without violating surface tension. It turned out that during the jump, the water meter accelerates gradually, which allows you not to create additional pressure on the water surface. Inspired by this discovery, the researchers set about creating an insect robot capable of following the same principle. The body of the resulting miniature bot is only 2 centimeters in size. It balances on 5. 
centimeter paws made of wires. The robot's feet are covered with a special layer of water repellent material which, along with the small weight of the robot, which is only 68 milligrams, adds stability to the water surface and allows it to jump from it to a height of more than 14 centimeter. Moreover, the robot is able to perform this trick equally well not only on water but also on a hard surface. The only drawback is that the current prototype is able to jump only once and it does not land back on its paws. However, the research team plans to build an improved version of the robot, a water meter that can also swim, as well as perform much more complex tasks compared to what the robot can do now. One of the authors of this project, describing the current and future capabilities of the robot in an article in the journal Science, reports that one of the main areas of application of such robots may be military intelligence. So if you haven't started worrying yet, then perhaps this is the right time to start. This insect, like Guy, is called Hector. It was created by guys from Bielefeld University in Germany. The prototype for its creation was the insect stick insect. Hector has six paws, and he can move each of them independently of the others. This feature of free gait allows the robot to quickly adapt to any surface on which it walks. At the same time, each leg is able to adjust the direction, which helps Hector to climb over obstacles that arise in his path. How is this possible? Each robot paw consists of three elastic joints that behave like muscles. A complex network of sensors and sensors complements Hector's paws with the ability to feel and react to the surface they touch. At first glance, you can't tell right away, but the robot's body is made of carbon fiber, which at the same time makes it light and very durable. Thanks to this, Hector is able to carry heavy objects on himself. The early prototype of the robot weighed 12 kilograms, but could carry all 30 on itself. If the idea of an insectoid that can move on any surface still doesn't scare you, then the researchers are going to add a special camera to it, which will allow it to inspect the surrounding space, as real insects do. Did we talk about special sensors? that help the robot to feel the objects it touches thanks for watching put likes and subscribe to the channel